So let's summarize this section on security and compliance. And I have to agree, yes, this was a very, very long section. And I'm sorry about that. You have to just remember a lot of things. So the shared responsibility model on AWS, we've seen it at length in this course, so now you know about it. Shield is a way for you to get automatic DDoS protection. And then if you use Shield Advanced, you get 24-7 support. You get WAF, Web Application Firewall, which is a firewall to filter incoming requests based on specific rules. KMS to manage your encryption keys on AWS. Cloud HSM to have hardware encryption. And this time it's not AWS that manages the keys. It is ourselves that manages the uh, encryption keys. AWS will only manage the hardware behind it. ACM, so AWS Certificate Manager, is a way for you to provision, manage, and deploy SSL and TLS certificates and to get in-flight encryption. Artifact is going to give you access to compliance reports, such as PCI, ISO, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Guard duty is a way for you to find malicious behavior automatically by analyzing VPC logs, DNS logs, and CloudTrail logs. And Inspector is going to be for EC2 instances only. You have to install an agent from within the EC2 instance, and this in in uh, agent will run and will try to find vulnerabilities within your operating system. Next, we have Config, which is allowing us for compliance to track configuration changes and also create rules to check compliance of these um, resources configuration over time. Macy is a way for us to find sensitive data, for example, PII data, so personal uh, information in Amazon S3 buckets. CloudTrail is a way for us to track API calls made by users within the accounts. Security Hub is a way for us to gather all the security findings from so many different services from multiple AWS accounts into one place and really act on these security findings directly from there. Detective is in case we have a security finding, how do we get to the root cause very quickly? And this is with Detective, which is going to link up all these services together and help you with that. The abuse team is a team that you report um, to when you see abusive behavior by using AWS resources for abusive or illegal purposes, and you either have a form or you send them an email. And then you have to remember, I think the four most important uh, things that a root user can do in your account. It can change the account settings. It can close your AWS accounts. It can change or cancel your support plan, or it can register as a seller in the reserved instances marketplace. So that's it. I hope you like this lecture and I will see you in the next section.